Preview, Newcastle United vs. Sheffield United Prediction, Team News, Lineup Sheffield United will be relegated from the Premier League if they fail to beat top six hopefuls Newcastle United at St. James Park on Saturday afternoon. Both teams enter this contest on the back of midweek losses away from home. While the Magpies suffered defeat at Crystal Palace, the Blades were put to the sword by Manchester United after accumulating 10 points from four Premier League matches. Newcastle were in buoyant mood heading into Wednesday's meeting with Crystal Palace and Eddie Howe's side had 11 days to rest and recover for the contest at Selhurst Park. However, the Magpies lacked a cutting edge in the final third and were condemned to their 10th away league defeat of the season, with Jean-Philippe Matita netting a second-half brace to seal a 2-0 victory for the Eagles. Newcastle have subsequently slipped to 7th in the Premier League table, two points above 8th-placed West Ham United, who have played a game more, and three points behind 6th-placed Manchester United, who beat the Magpies' next opponents Sheffield United 4-2 at Old Trafford in midweek. Still firmly in the mix to secure Europa League football for next season, Newcastle have two favorable-looking fixtures on the horizon against the Premier League's bottom two clubs Sheffield United and Burnley. The Magpies ran riot in an 8-0 demolition of the Blades in the reverse fixture at Bramall Lane in September last year. Newcastle will welcome a return to St. James Park where they have won three and drawn one of their last four league matches, scoring 12 goals in the process. While they have not lost any of their eight top-flight home games against promoted sides since Howe's appointment in November 2021, so there is reason for the Magpies to be optimistic of success on Saturday, I in a season full of doom and gloom. Sheffield United's spirited display in Wednesday's encounter at Manchester United represented one. Of their high points, even though they came away on the wrong end of a 4-2 scoreline, the Blades were ahead twice in the entertaining contest, with Jaden Bogle and Ben Brereton Diaz netting either side of a Harry Maguire equalizer. However, Bruno Fernandes inspired a comeback for the Red Devils by netting two goals and assisting Rasmus Hodgland in the final half hour to condemn Chris Wilder's side to their 24th league defeat of the campaign. Sheffield United have now conceded 92 goals in 34 Premier League matches this term, surpassing the previous record for a 38-game season held by Derby County, 89, during their infamous 2007-2008 campaign, and a run of 10 games without a win has put them on the brink of relegation back to the championship. Sitting rock bottom and 10 points adrift of safety, Sheffield United will be relegated from the Premier League if they fail to beat Newcastle on Saturday. Even if they were to draw or win against the Magpies, their fate will be sealed if 17th place Nottingham Forest match or better their result when they host Manchester City on Sunday. Although Sheffield United are not mathematically down just yet, Wilder has acknowledged the inevitable will happen and that his side just have pride to play for in their remaining four fixtures as a top-flight club. Only once have the Blades celebrated a Premier League away victory against Newcastle's Danny Weber scored the only goal in a 1-0 win back in November 2006 under former boss Neil Newcastle's lengthy injury list includes Sven Botman, Jamal Lascelles, both ACL, Joe Willock, Matt Target, both Achilles, Lewis Miley, Back, Nick Pope, Shoulder, Kieran Trippier, Calf, Miguel Almiron, Knee, and Joe Linton, Thigh. However, Callum Wilson returned to the matchday squad in midweek and made a 25-minute cameo appearance off the substitute's bench after missing the previous 10 games with a pectoral injury. The Magpie striker is in contention to feature again on Saturday, while Valentino Livermento will be assessed as he is yet to fully recover from an ankle issue. Bruno Guimaraes, Sean Longstaff, Anthony Gordon, and Alexander Isaac were among the eight different scorers in the reverse fixture at Bramall Lane, and all four are expected to retain their starting spots this time around. Isaac has been in red-hot form at St. James Park, scoring eight goals in his last six home league appearances. As for Sheffield United, Ali McBurney has been ruled out for the rest of the season with a groin injury, and he joins Max Lowe, John Egan, Chris Basham, All Ankle, George Baldock, Calf, Reese Norrington Davies, Tom Davies, Both Thigh, and Daniel Jeb Bison. Illness in the treatment room. Jack Robinson, Ankle, and Rian Brewster, Thigh, are both doubtful, as is James McAtee, who is waiting for the results of a scan after picking up an unspecified injury in midweek. 
Bogle also sustained an issue against Man United, but Wilder is hopeful that the defender will be okay to feature on Saturday. 20-year-old midfielder Oliver Arblaster captained his boyhood club for the first time in midweek and is in contention to both start and keep the armband on Saturday, while Wes Fodderingham will hope he has done enough to retain his place in goal ahead of Ivo Gerbic after an impressive display at Old Trafford. Newcastle United possible starting lineup. Dubravka, Murphy, Croft, Schauer, Byrne, Longstaff, Gamares, Anderson, Gordon, Isaac, Barnes. Sheffield United possible starting lineup. Fodderingham, Hallgate, Amadhadzik, Trusty, Bogle, Souza, Arblaster, Hamer, Osborne, Brereton Diaz, Archer.